hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show how to design a crossover service church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then go to your file select new then go to print menu and select a5 paper size then you change to inches then leave your resolution at 300 RGB color mode for social media. Then you click on create. So this is our designing area now. So the first thing now, I'm going to copy this color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid color. Ctrl plus V to paste. And go to your resource file. And over here, import this one. Then you scale it out. Then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light. All right. Then having done this one now, so the next thing we are going to do, then go back to your resource file and import this one. Then scale it out. something like this then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light okay apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend the bottom here also the top here okay then go back to your resource file and import this one Reduce the size, then you position it around here. Then change it to soft light and reduce the opacity to 60%. Then now you can arrange it the way you want. Then, but before then, I'm going to apply my layer mask, select my gradient to then I will blend the bottom here. And the top here also the side over here all right then you can now position it the way you want it to be and increase the size of it i will leave it like this it's okay then having done this one now so the next thing now then i'm going to import this image over here then you take it up change your blending mode to soft light then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend the bottom over here so this is what you will have okay now the last thing i'm going to do in this background then i'm going to create a new layer over here and select your brush so i'm using a stroke brush over here then come to the bottom and you click twice okay then having done this one now so the next thing to do i'm going to bring in my church logo then i'm going to group this one as the background import the church logo reduce the size you take it up here then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool change the font color to white and I'm going to change the font to Montserrat. And make it bold. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. 
reduce the font size position it here go back to your test tool and I'll make it centralize Ctrl plus A to select all, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. You bring it down, select your test tool, highlight it, then copy this one, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your test character and increase the character spacing. So okay like this. And reduce the size a little like this. It's okay. Now, then come over here to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Then go back to your test character, reduce it to 0%. Then change the alignment to left. Ctrl plus V to paste. And here I'm going to change the font. Then change this font over here, street grid. Now increase the size. Something like this. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then what I will do now, I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then select your test tool, highlight it, and input O. Then bring it over here, click it, hold your Shift key, then while you drag it like this, and expand it this way something like this okay then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring this one down select your test tool Highlight it, then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, and position this one over here, then I'm going to reduce it then create a space. Reduce this one like this, it's okay. Then select your test tool. Now I'm going to select this one. I will position it around here. Then increase it like this. Then select the zero. And I'm going to reduce it like this then use your arrow key then to bring this one down this way okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to make a duplicate of this test here so what i'm going to do then i'm going to select these two over here then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now, 
I'm going to turn off this one and this one now I'm going to convert this one to smart objects also this one convert it to smart objects all right then hold your control key while you select this one now go to select under the menu then click on modify select expand and i'm going to expand it by 10 percent then something like this all right so the next thing i'm going to do now then make sure you are on this test over here the zero then select your your eraser tool then click over here select ok and now i'm going to clean up this area then ctrl plus d to take select okay so what i'm going to do the next thing now then i'm going to make a copy of this gradient color so you can see this gradient color now go to your your blending option sorry about that this is the one i'm going to apply on it then go to your gradient overlay now this is the color okay then i'm going to apply it and over here this is the color code having done this one now then i'm going to copy this test over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font to monsterat and make it bold position it over here then apply this color over here on the test reduce the size then I'm going to make a duplicate of it control plus J to duplicate then you drag this one down select your test tool highlight it and come over here to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste and change the the font to this infinite stroke all right so we are done with this one So now the next thing I'm going to do now, then I will select the test, hold your shift key while you select it, then ctrl plus G to group it. Then I'm going to duplicate it, ctrl plus J to duplicate. And this one I'm going to convert it to smart object then I'll turn this one off for now so what I will do now then I'm going to hold my control key then you click on this one then go back to select go to modify expand then expand it by 20% something like this okay so then also rasterize it okay then go to your um paint pocket tool then you select it 
and change the color and over here this is the color i'm going to use so i'll copy it then come over here ctrl plus v to paste then now you apply this color Okay, then Ctrl plus D to deselect it. So as you can see, we are done with this one. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to blur it by 22.2%. Then you click OK. Then this one now, then you are going to change the blending mode to linear light. Then you will have something like this. Then you click on this one to turn on this one. Then on this linear light is too bright. I think I'm going to change it. Okay, this linear color or lightning is okay. So any of these linear dodge lightning so between this one i think it's more preferable or you can use this one exclusion or differences then this is what you will have over there okay all right so now the next thing now i'm going to change the color back to white and I will revise to gradient 2. Okay, then select your rent angle. Then you draw a rent angle over here like this. Then go to your test document and make a copy of this. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste and change the font to Montserrat. Then make it bold or semi bold, anyone. Then on the color, I'm going to make use of red. This one, I will make you take, I will change this one to black. Then reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Bring it down like this. Highlight it. Then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus v to paste then you break this one like this and on this one i'm going to make use of red color okay then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one i will bring it down like this then highlight it and copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size bring it down like this all right so the next thing now i'm going back to the rent angle and select it and now we draw a line like this then go to your gradient overlay and I'm going to change the color 
So over here, this is the color I'm going to use. And this is the code here. So this is the code. And I will click OK. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. And bring it down over here. Then hold your shift key while you reduce it this way. Then use your arrow key then to bring this one up. Also take this one up. And the time you use your arrow key then to drag it up. So this is the outcome of it. Now hold your shift key, then Y you select it, then you group it together. And now then you can increase the size. Then go back to your rent angle. Then now we draw a rent angle like this. Then select all control plus A, then apply vertical alignment, then control plus D to deselect. And I'm going to make use of this color here. Then control plus J to duplicate it. Something like this would be okay. Then apply horizontal alignment to make it equal. Then apply your layer mask on this one. And now we blend it this way. Then the circle one, apply your layer mask. Then I will blend it like this. Then on this one, I'm going to adjust the color like this. Then select your test tool and I'm going to type this word, this letter here like this. Then change the font to black. Reduce the font size. Then you place it here. Then select your test tool. Then come over here to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to infinite stroke. Reduce the font size. and rotate it like this and place it over here then go back to your test and make a copy of this one then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste Reduce the font size. Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to select a rectangle. Draw a rectangle like this. Then make use of this color, apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then blend it like this.
Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one and apply horizontal flip. Then you take this one over here. Then the last thing I'm going to copy the location. Then bring the location icon. Reduce the size. Select your test tool. Then change the font to Monserrat. Then make it semi bold. Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then go to your space and open the space. 10% is okay. Now group it together. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then also this one. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then you group it. Then use your arrow key to bring it down this way. And the location, use your arrow key to bring it down. So, that is all in this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it. Thank you.